Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you how to make one click do eight clicks. So, right there, it's actually seven, but if you can listen, I'll only click once. And we could get 20 CPS super easily. So, yes, let's get into the video on how to do this. Okay, I'm back. I had to restart my computer because I do not know how to get it to stop without restarting it. So, what I'm gonna do, what you need to do is search auto hotkey. It should be the first one. Click download, download current version. Left click, click yes, because I have it already. I think it should just download it so probably just I'm actually just gonna leave it for now but after you like do it and you click it it should pop up with something like this what you're gonna do after this is close it because you won't need it it just allows us to create auto hotkey scripts okay and then this you can name it to whatever you want. Click open with notepad. And you're going to want to paste this. I will leave a link or a paste of this in the description. Click escape, save. And then that's pretty much it for right now. Next you're going to want to open up Minecraft Launcher. I like to use Bad Lion. And then play launch. I'll cut this part out. Okay. And then I'll just go to single player because I don't want to get you banned. Because this could probably get us banned. No, not probably. It can. It will. If we use it. So only use this in like single player or servers that have like auto clickers allowed I guess. Okay, let's go. Okay. After you've loaded into the world, you go escape. Right click run script. Or actually, because it will probably just spam click it. Go like this, and then left click. Okay. And then if you see, I'm clicking. One click does 7 CPS. If I'm spamming it a little bit, I get 20 CPS. So this is clicking way quickly. But if I spam and click or drag click, I think it's less. Yes, it's less. But we could get 20 CPS pretty easily with this. This is pretty good, I guess, if you want to use in your single player world. You'll just have to restart your computer when you have to turn it off. Or if I find a way how to, I'll say how to in the description. So you want to click save and quit and then just restart your computer, I guess. That is it for this video. See you, see you guys next time.